Hunter 719 here and this video is the homemade remote control airsoft turret so what I'm going to try and do here is using these two items you see in the camera create a remote control turret so this here you may have seen in one of my really old videos is my homemade um, trigger controlled airsoft turret it used to be on a stand with ball bearings but I had to be removed for this project so on the inside of this if you open it up, it's hinged like so. The scope is where you put the ammo in, right there. Feeds the ammo to the sawed-off airsoft gun on the inside. It's just a cheap electric airsoft gun. Then, as you can see here, I've rewired the battery pack, bigger battery pack, and spliced the old trigger assembly and wired it up the handle to a remote control here. So when you push the remote control, fires as you hear there and just made an extra long thicker barrel for nice design and clearly painted it black and then over here I have just a remote control car which shoots missiles so what I'm gonna try and do and here's the remote for it with the two fire buttons what I'm gonna try and do is take this apart and use one of the wheels or axes whatever to mount on the base so it can swivel back and forth and then rewire the trigger assembly for these through the handle of my turret as I did here to make a working firing assembly so let's see how that works here's the dismantled car now and I have the one wheel still attached and kept all the electronics as well as you see here now the one thing I have discovered sadly is that this wheel, although it still works fine, I just simply turn on my remote here and kept the electronic switch as you see. It still turns just fine, but the weight of this when placed on top, even if it had a good configuration, is too heavy for this specific remote control car to spin due to that fact that this is made out of wood so this one won't be able to swivel but I should still be able to harness the trigger components on this electric car to make a remote control shooting turn. So in short what I have done here is finish stripping the car and wiring up all the necessary electronics so basically the only body part of the car left is the back of it which holds the battery pack which of course we still need then for the electronics to show you briefly um, yes, it looks like a big mess of wires, but the only important part really is this black and white one right here. And they came off of this old motor with the black and white wires. So all I've done is taken this off and re -re rewired it into the power of my electric airsoft gun. So all it does when I hit the big center button. Here, instead of powering this motor, powers the one inside my airsoft gun, therefore shooting the turret. Let's test it out. So here we are, the completed product. All the electronics are inside the housing and my remote control, of course, and we will be testing inside here, down range to our targets, which are those three cans, and see what kind of damage we can do. I'm quite sad I won't swivel, but Remote control airsoft gun is still cool nonetheless. Here we go, shooting test. Three, two, one. There you have it folks, the remote control airsoft turret, um, a little different than how I wanted it to work, but it did still work, so I am happy, hope you guys enjoyed the video, I got a lot more videos I've already made lined up to upload for you, so if you're not subscribed, I recommend you do that, I have a lot more cool stuff coming out, let me know how you guys like this project, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe, thanks for watching.